Indigenous people always talk about coming back to the beginning of time. Coming back to a time where we were in tune with nature. Today in the modern world when everything is moving so fast, when we're worried with the things we have, the money we have, we really don't take the time to nurture ourselves. And me and Mitra are here to support the growth of a, of a house of healing of an indigenous wisdom center where you can come and you can take that space and you can take that time to nurture yourself. This is the house of healing of Taita Juanito and, and the shamans he works with. Es una travesía de, de lo ancestral, volviendo otra vez a casa. I've been working in healing for the last 20 years. I have a deep appreciation for, for ancient tradition, but I also saw their limitation. And when I got exposed to this type of form that uh, we want to represent here and we want to share here with the world, I was uh, deeply touched and overwhelmed by the knowledge, by the quality, and by the ability to heal. My intention of building this retreat really uh, is for people to come and heal and also because this is an opportunity that we have to come and be with them. There's, there's no other possibility of coming and gathering with them in a place like this and do ceremony in this way. Now these ancient ways were hidden in the forest until not long ago. We need to open our curiosity and to open ourselves, our mind, to something that is ancient and that looks primitive, but works. It's not something random that they do. They know exactly which plants to use. It's science. I'm a medical doctor trained in the allopathic Western model, and um, I've long ago began to recognize its limitations. Virtually all disease, whether physical or mental, can be described as originating in a deep disconnect from the self. And uh, what you find in this traditional wisdom mode of healing is that they see the connection between your emotions, your soul and your body. They see the connections between yourself and your relations. What's unique about it is the efficiency of it. It's happening uh, faster and more precise than what I saw so far. They also have a sense that they're not curing you, but they're enlivening, they're, they're, they're waking up the healing process that's already in you, but maybe that you're not aware of and you're not connected with. The shaman, the taita, he reads where you might be blocked. He, might, he reads you where you have too much energy. Uh, unbalanced and then he works with that. Juanito and the other shamans um, have this gift. It's such a beautiful gift and it's transformed my life with some health conditions and um, emotional things, you know, baggage from the past that I wanted to get rid of and I feel like I've accomplished that in the three retreats that I've been here and it's, it's like a miracle. I mean, it truly is a miracle. Um, I just, I've, I've never felt such amazing love before in my life and, and such humbleness and gratitude. El dolor ya se transformó en amor. Cuando se transforma eso, entonces ahí es donde, donde está la sanación. And this love that I experienced, I've never experienced it before in my life, ever. This is what we do when we come to this retreat. Tonight we have ceremony and then we chill. Yeah, that's how it works. But there's 
healing going on 24 hours a day and it's contagious and there's healing going on between the people, among the people who are participating. Sacred, pure, simple, ancient wisdom, I would say, you know, or natural. It's a visionary, complete, intuitive, and um, deeply wise mode of healing.